Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and today is February the 17th, and it is the day the Lord has made. I pray you are already rejoicing and glad in it. Listen, we're praying about God's provision along our journey. You know, each and every day we get up, we get another opportunity to walk closer and farther with God today than we did yesterday. And as we're walking in our journey, we're believing God for provisions along our journey. So all of the scriptures that we've been reading and praying about have been praying about God providing for us along our journey. And so in today's scripture, James chapter one and verse 17, we're going to be praying from the new international version of God's word today. James chapter one and verse 17 says every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights. Amen. Today we're going to go to God with a spirit and an attitude of thanksgiving. And we want to thank God that he is the provider of every good gift. We want to thank God that he is the provider of every perfect gift. And we want to thank God that he is the provider of the light in our lives. Come on, let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and bless you and praise you for this day you have made. God, we are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Lord, we thank you for the privilege, the opportunity to pray to you. And as we lift our attention, as we lift our eyes to the hills from whence cometh our help, we declare that all of our help comes from you. But even as we focus our attention, as we focus our affections upon you, Lord, we realize that you are a holy God and that you are a righteous God, and you desire us to be holy, and you desire us to be righteous, God. But we have fallen short of your glory. We've missed the mark. We've sinned, and we've done things that we should not have done. And for that today, early this morning, in this time of prayer, God, we just say to you, we're sorry for the sins we've committed against you. We know in 1 John 1 and 9, you said, if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us and to purify us of all unrighteousness. So, Lord, we receive your forgiveness via the blood of Jesus Christ today. Thank you that the blood has been applied to our lives. Thank you that Jesus died on the cross and you raised him from the dead for the forgiveness of our sin. And not only that, God, but we ask now that you would fill us with your Holy Spirit, that we might be able to live righteously before you. And God, we thank you today that you are the provider of every good gift in our life. Thank you for the gift of grace and thank you for the gift of mercy. Thank you for the gift of your favor. Thank you for the gift of, of forgiveness. All that you have given to us, God, we thank you that it comes from you and that you are the provider of every perfect gift. God, you don't just give us good gifts. You give us perfect gifts. You give us the gifts that we need when we need them. God, sometimes we don't even know what we need. We don't even know what to pray for, but you said we can even just go down in prayer and the Holy Spirit will make intercessions for us with groanings and utterings that cannot even be heard. So thank you, Holy Spirit, even now as we're praying to the God uh, of the heavens, Lord, that we don't even know what we need today, but we know you are the provider of every good and perfect gift. So God, perfectly tailor these prayers to meet what you want us to have in this season. Lord, you are the provider of everything we need for our journey, but you are also the provider for the light that we need on our journey. So God, we just thank you that, that in our dark seasons, you show up and shine lights in our pathway. You give direction to our footsteps. Lord, you give vision to our spiritual eyesight. Lord, you uh, shine your light in dark areas and the enemy has to flee. For where there is light, darkness cannot remain. So God, I pray you would shine your light in our hearts today. Shine your light on our minds today. Shine your light in our families today. Shine our light, your light in our children and our mom and our mothers and our fathers and our sisters and our brothers, Lord. Shine your light on the family of God. Shine your light on the church of Jesus Christ. Let your light shine in this dark world, Lord. 
Let us be lamps um, that are lit, that cannot be put out. Let us be that city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. Lord, let our light so shine that men and women, boys and girls, may come asking us, what is the reason for our hope? What is the reason for our joy? And that we might direct them to the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that he too might light the light of their lives. Lord, thank you for being the father of lights. Thank you for being the giver of every good and perfect gift. We trust you to bless us with what we need when we need it. And we give you glory for it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today, February the 17th, scripture today came from James chapter one, verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above coming down from the father of the heavenly lights. We love you in the Lord. We'll be back praying for you tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.